Today we're, fi we're checking the camshaft timing of this 1380 mini engine. To do this we need a protractor and a DTI. What we're going to do is we're going to find top dead centre. I'm going to use 10 fouls, so what you have to do is you have to put the marker on the DTI on 10 fouls, but you can use whatever you number you want, and then you mark it where the zero is. You bounce it off zero, and then you find 10 again, the opposite way. Then you mark there again, and then you have to count the numbers up. And there's 12, put the six. And you find half of it, and then that one in the middle is the top of the centre of the engine. We found top dead centre and now we're finding the full barrel lift after top dead centre. To do this I'm using five foul again and what you'd have to do is you have to put it on exactly five pretty much and you have to know where top dead centre what it says on the protractor. So you need to leave that on and it is 26 200, no, 91. So I need to, 91. And then, you go back and bounce it back the way we came. Put it back on. Put it back on five, the, from when it bounces off. And then record what that is. take away 17 from 125, so I'm going to plus 17 to 91, 91 plus 17 equals 108. Our results got 108 and we need the camshaft to be at 110. Our camshaft is a Kent Cam 643. And what we're going to have to do is make a key to fit inside of it to turn it two degrees backwards. But your key will be a different size to ours because yours will be a different camshaft probably. Um, Put it in so it turns anti-clockwise a tiny bit and we're going to see if it works out right. Basically. Bounce it back and get it on 